going on? Got the Nissan four stroke 9.8. I'm gonna try to clean the carb today. And I'm gonna show you how it's done. Got the carb and choke cleaner, got the brush. It comes with the steel and the brass and the nylon. I'm gonna use that to clean the inside of the carburetor. I'm using a socket wrench, 10 millimeter. Do is take this off. We'll do that now. And it's right here. The two screws, one right there, and the other one's in the back one right there. You can see right there. So I'm gonna take that out using this right here, the socket, two screw, and also gotta watch out for the hose. Um, I'm gonna take these holes out right here because I can't unplug this. It's like really sick. Hold on. That right there. It's really jammed tight, so I can't really take that out. So, wow. So I'm just gonna take it, loosen it from here. I'm gonna pull that out. Oh, see? I'm gonna take this thing out because I gotta slide it through here. This is supposed to be in here. I forgot to put it in last time, but yeah. So what you do, you slide out right there. I'm gonna keep this on. Now I'm gonna take the two screws off now. I forgot to mention, when you take the carburetor out, you gotta remember these two things right here. I believe this is the, the throttle, and this is the choke. All you gotta do is pop this down, pull it out, put it somewhere like that. This, same thing. Um, just take a screwdriver. I use a razor and mark it, so you definitely want it the same area where it was at before, like the factory. But yeah, just take a screwdriver and just take it out. That's it. So I unscrewed it, loosen it up, and just you can just um, pull this out like this. See, this one goes in here, right here. See. As you can see over there, you just pull it out if you want. What I normally do is I pull it out and I just put it on the up here, something now. And now, just, like I said, go for the two screws and I'll take everything out. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention, the air filter. You gotta unplug, plug the holes over here also. That's it, just let it hang there. I already got the screw loose and just pull it straight out. Oh, I'm trying to keep everything together. See? That's the carburetor. What you do is just, you can take the, the air filter out like this because you don't really need it. This is. Put it aside for now. What do you take off and put it back the same way? I'm just the gasket. Move the gasket away. And put it over here. And what I'm doing now, removing these four screws. One, two, three, four in the corner. Take these the top piece off. That's the floating. I'm gonna do this. Take the um, floaty out. And just put the screw somewhere. Do not lose the screw. When you lift it up, you can see the needle over there. I'm gonna lift it up gently. See the needle? I'll put that down here. Start cleaning. Another flat head right here. Put it somewhere. I'm gonna take that one out next. Then I'm gonna go inside the hole. As you can see inside of it, it's not. I don't know if you see it, but there's another thing in there. Yeah, look all that that's dirty. See that built up? Gotta clean all that. That comes out too. So it's just you can just dump it out. See the little holes in there, that's a jet with the fuel goes in, you just drive it in there. That come off. 
I'm cleaned out a little bit. There's still another one in there, another jet. I need to get I need to reach that. Can't use this typical flat. I need a little skinnier one to actually fit in there. Sure you clean the inside all the so I see still you good you can see the inside all right I just want to clean everything up remember you got the back piece right here too I'll get to use like I said use a screwdriver just pop it open basically I'll just pull, I'll pull it gently I don't want to ruin the gasket the gasket, the little rubber gasket. I'll put this right here. Make sure you spray down, clean everything. I'm gonna just start spraying inside the jets in here, all the little screws. This is also dirty too. Let me see, look at that. See that white? I clean all that. I'm gonna use the brush and try to clean it as best as possible. So that's getting to the fuel line. It's clogging all the jets. I'll show you what safe glasses and glove. Well, I don't have none right now, so I'm just gonna do it, but be real careful. I'm gonna spray the inside of the set. Spray that. Oh, wow. Take a, take a brush. I think I'm gonna use the nylon brush. Sprayed everything down. Pop it out. Just let everything all dry up now. Everything's all sprayed. Everything nice and clean, hopefully. And basically, that's how you clean it. And just put everything back together. I'm going to put this back and start putting everything back. This is from the bottom. Just place it on. Put the two screws in. Just tying it, hand tight. Now, just to put the jet back, these. So remember, just went on this side and use that little small flat hat, the little skinny one. And just slowly be careful. So it's tying in there. That's it. And I'll put the other one. I believe it goes like this. Drop it down. And this goes on this side. And use a flat head to tighten that. And this go on this side. Tighten that. So I tightened these two already. Now I'm put the the floater back in. You see the needle with there? Make sure. Boom. See, look, th this is what happened to your hand. You don't wear a glove using a um, carburetor cleaner. I tightened that already. Now, I have to put this back on, just put it in here. Then, just put the screws, the four screws on. Just tighten it now. It's real simple. It's not that hard to clean the carbs. So I'm going to hand tie that real quick. So that's how I look. Just got to put this back on. The two screws. Like slide it in here. And two screw. It's the gasket right here. There it goes. and tight, not too much, I don't want to overdo it. So I just finally got it in. Just going to put the hose back in. Yeah, see, wait for the turn, see. Ramp it on. And put this hose on top, back on. You got the, ch this is the choke. The choke goes back up in here. Bam. And the gas. Yeah. 
Oh. See, I already use a razor line to mark where the thing should go. So, right there is perfect. And all I gotta do is just tighten it. And then put the cover back on. And that's how you clean a carburetor. Choke out. There you have it, carburetor clean. Hard and nice and smooth and quiet. Oh, I don't know what happened. Start it over again. I cranked the throttle a little bit. As you can see, it's running just fine. Running just fine. So that's how I clean the carburetor, folks. Like I said, thanks for watching. Like, comment, tell me what you think below. And make sure you subscribe. Thanks. Peace and love, y'all.